Hey guys, um, I'm Running Kid here, coming to you again. How's everybody doing out there? Um, once again, like I said, being that since I'm trying to get all this stuff out before work, um, so basically, guys, I'm gonna give you the last two episodes, give you my recap slash reviews on on uh, the last two episodes of of. Uh, Transformers Prime. Sorry about that. And if you hear me, uh, the always in the back, it's okay. That's just me and Malcolm and people were watching football, so don't worry about that. Um, so basically, guys, um, we're gonna start off with the first episode that aired previous, which was episode uh, forty. What is that? Forty. Um, 46, I believe. Yeah, 46, entitled Legacy. So the, the gist of this episode was really interesting because they, they're they still looking for looking for more relics. Um, and we're also in a sense that Jack is also partnered up with Smokescreen, who still is kind of adjusting to life, you know, here on Earth. And s since... And I apologize for that noise. Somebody just rang the bell. Uh, and um, and basically, he interacts with humans, and they take a picture of him, everything like that. And, and it's like, oh gosh, like so he's still adjusting that. So Jack kind of shows him around to kind of keep his the robots in disguise under wraps. Uh, but before, other than that, uh, Soundwave has decoded another set of coordinates for, you know, uh, finding another relic. And pretty much, it's somewhere in it's somewhere in China, um, and that's where they find uh, they they send another set of coordinates. So the Autobots, it's a fake coordinates. The Autobots are destroyed, and they're they're off course in a sense to basically um, uh, basically. Because they get sent different coordinates, while uh, the Dis uh, Decepticons get the relic. Now, the, the relic is the Star Saber. The Star Saber is this powerful sword that can only be powered up by a Prime, of course. And uh, meanwhile, Jack, everybody, all the rest of the gang are off in China, while Jack and Smokescreen come back to base and. Uh, Ratchet tells them where everybody is, and they're starting to plead like maybe we should go find it, everything like that. And um, Megatron is really having a problem <laughs> with trying to get the relic since it, it's lodged into a mountain, and he can't remove. It. It's almost like a remnants of the sword in the stone Excalibur, so he can't get it out, and he's getting really pissed off and everything like that. So what he decides to do is remove uh, remove the whole mountain. So he can take it, and um, uh, Ratchet, the um, Smokescreen, and Jack actually go to get the relic without consent from Ratchet and everything like that. And lo and behold, that's where pretty much uh, our, uh, Optimus realizes that they've been duped. They've been duped. The coordinates were wrong. They set them up so they return back to base to uh, find out what's going on. And Jack basically contacts Ratchet and tells him what's going on, uh, which he's being chased by Insecticons. Like he's being chased by Insecticons, and they're about to <laughs> rip in, rip a new one into him. While Smokescreen's trying to deal with, uh, he gets captured by uh, some of the Vehicons and. Um, Megatron. Uh, lo and behold, the rest of the Autobots get there. They uh, they do battle, and you see they use they decoyed to use Optimus so he can get up to the mountain. And you see Optimus climbing up the mountain. Uh, he using his vehicle form, and then he finally, and then you see uh, <laughs> Megatron and him like, don't let him get that sword. And then uh, what happens next is really funny because they actually. Optimus is able to pull the sword out, and then he he wields the power of the Star Saber, and once again, it's like I said, it was like Excalibur, because he's able to 
uh, Megatron says drop the mountain on him and Optimus basically just slices through this mountain no problem with the sword and he just stands there looking back as is always and uh, the, it's the look on Megatron's face that sells it he's like okay we're at our diest our diest mountain ever and so um, that's pretty much it but back at base RC kind of rips into um, rips into uh, Smokescreen because of putting Jack in danger, and even Optimus kind of does it as well. And um, basically, uh, uh, Optimus tells him the same thing, and then he gets a message through the Star Saber from um, uh, uh, Alpha Trion. And uh, that's pretty much where it ends. Um, this episode was cool. Um, I did enjoy it. Um, I didn't like when uh, Optimus had the sword, and it was at this point it made it look like the balance of power was now in the Autobots' hands. But uh, that is all about that changes in the next episode. So uh, I'll be right back with the next uh, uh, recap on that one, guys. All right, guys. Um, so episode 47 which uh, is entitled uh, Alpha Omega um, this is the episode that aired this Friday and um, this was this was a good episode too this is where really the balance of power is back kind of on fold or you can say in a different direction now uh, and as always guys the links of if you missed these episodes, the links will be in the description so you could check them out for yourselves. Um, after receiving the message from Alpha Trion, who was voiced by George Dakai from Star Trek, voices him. Uh, the voice was very distinguished. You knew right from who that was. Um, he, he realizes, Alpha Trion tells him about there are four remaining uh, relics left in play. And those being the Omega Keys capable of regenerating Cybertron, basically re making Cybertron back to how it used to be. Uh, so, in other words, so to tip the power back in favor of the Decepticons, Megatron and Dreadwing take a trip to Cybertron. And this just shows you right here, when I looked at this, I was like, how desperate Megatron is to gain the power and back in his favor he literally goes to the graves of the primes the sacred tombs of the primes and literally detaches one of the primes arms and then attaches it to his arm so he can wield the um the the uh, forge of uh, solace prime so he can make a sword so he basically does that and that just, right there, I was just like, oh my god, Megatron is just desperate. Um, but it just shows you how good of a villain he really is. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get power back in our, our favor. Um, how they get back to Cybertron is they use that, that space bridge that is behind the, the dark side of the moon that we saw in the, the first season. Um, and afterwards... Uh, the um, uh, Jack, uh, no, uh, Smokescreen and RC go to Egypt to find one of the Omega Keys, and afterwards they are encountered by Megatron with his this new weapon he created from, which is called the Dark Star Saber, which is forged of Dark Energon. And what it looks like after he fights RC and Smokescreen, it looks like he he killed uh, Smokescreen. But what it looks like, but it actually it will I'll get into that later. Um, and then he basically tells RC, tell Optimus to come get this. And Optimus comes, he takes the Star Saber, and there's a great, great intense sword fight between the two legendary leaders. And uh, it gets really uh, dire because at one point. Uh, during the battle, basically, the Star Saber is destroyed. It's broke by Megatron's Dark Star Saber, 
and um, leaves Optimus kind of without, you know, a means to fighting a, a Megatron on equal terms. However, this really allows Smokescreen to get the drop on him and retrieve the Omega Key. And he has he what he had some help was before he left, he took the phase shifter with him. And he was able to phase through when he got hit, he phased through the pyramids and he snuck around and got the key. And uh, that was about it. Um uh, Mega, Mega, and uh, Megatron is able to he uh, he's really upset and he's mad because they they got one of the Omega keys. Um, and back at so Optimus and Smokescreen return back to base with one of the Omega keys, and Smokescreen tells the story of how he did it, everything like that, and then, um, you know, he says to our uh, Ratchet, "Can I keep it?" And so now he's got kind of the phase shifter as his primary weapon, which is fine. Uh, I don't mind him because he's become really attached to using it. But uh, yeah, now it's kind of like the balance of power now is kind of with the Decepticons now because now that the uh, Omega, uh, the Star Saber is no more. Omega Megatron has the Dark Star Saber in his favor, unless they are able somehow to get the Forge of Solace again and probably rebuild the the Star Saber. The balance of power now, guys, is in the uh, Autobots, I mean, excuse me, the Decepticons uh, fold. But um, uh, Omega and Alpha was really good. The fight scene between uh, the two leaders was good. And I can't wait to see how this season is going to wrap up and what's in store for Cybertron as well. Will they restore Cybertron back to its fold before the third season kicks off? But other than that, um, you guys tell me what you thought about these episodes as well. And once again, like I said, the links will be in the description if you missed the episodes. And um, you guys take care.